In order to hold the trigger down on the uh, grinder, I made a little, uh, had a piece of scrap aluminum, made just a little aluminum arm with a hole in it, and made a little spacer out of a piece of scrap brass turning I already had. It was already that length. I just had to drill the hole in it, put it on there like that, and swivel it over to press down on the uh, trigger lever. So let me drill a little hole here to put the screw in. Put a mesh, mash it down far enough to trigger it. Let me plug the arrows up and see. I've got the air pressure turned down some so it doesn't run wide open. to shorten this uh, bushing here. Yeah, I think I'll need to do that or I'll turn the uh, air pressure up. Let me try to turn the air pressure up first. Nope, that didn't help. I still need to mash it down a little further, so we'll shorten that bushing. Okay, I shortened the little brass bushing, so... trigger holder works now so I guess we'll get ready to start grinding the jaws what I'm going to do is take a sharpie and uh, make a blue mark on each of the jaws so I can see when it's uh, taking something off so let me do that now got most of it I've got a 3 8 diameter grinding stone that I ordered from McMaster Car. Came in a pack of five for five dollars and something plus shipping. Uh, that's the size I need pretty much to grind the jaws because I have to bring the jaws in to miss past the inside of the uh, edge of the chuck there, right in here. So there's only a small opening of about a half inch, so that's why I decided to use the 3 8 grinding stone. But by doing that, I uh, can't use the plastic ring to put tension on the jaws like I was planning. So I went and got a uh, inch and a quarter pipe nipple and cut a piece off of it to use as a ring. Because the inch and a quarter inside diameter is about 1 and 3 8 so hopefully that'll work. We'll tighten that up, just snug it, and see how that's going to be. All right, we're all set up, so let's try to make the first pass. It took everything the air compressor had to keep up. Mm -hmm. It was starting to bog down. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a little bit of shine on two of the jaws. That jaw there at the bottom still has the marker on it. That one I see shiny and that one's shiny. So we'll let the air compressor build up and then we'll make another pass. Starting on the second pass now. Should have bought an electric die grinder. But they're a little more expensive.
that second pass I moved the uh, cross slide out about a thousand and it didn't seem to touch the uh, one with the still with the marker on it so we'll move it out another thousand and make another pass as soon as the air pressure catches up looks like there's a little bit of blue at the very far back on all three jaws uh, we've made five passes about a thousandths each which is about five thousandths and it cleaned it up pretty good all the way but the very last sixteenth of an inch or maybe even thirty second of an inch still has a little tiny bit of blue on it so that kind of corresponds to what the dial indicator was reading about uh, one jaw being five thousandths uh, I guess tighter than the other or one of the others I forgot to mention that I had to shim the uh, grinder mount up with two washers just to get it up a little close to center height wise so I think I'll make one more pass uh, take another thousandths and then maybe uh, at that same setting maybe two more passes just to make sure we get everything clean what's strange is I haven't noticed any sparks which uh, some of the YouTube videos I've watched of other people grinding jaws I've always seen some sparks but on this one I haven't seen sparks so I don't know what the deal is there but let's give it another shot I made two more passes on the same setup just to make sure we cleaned up. So I think we can take everything down now. Now we find a piece of round stock and put it in there and put the dial indicator on it and see how we did. Well, it looks like this little project has been a failure. It seems like I'm worse off now than I was before. I've got a uh, center drill in here, which is probably about the truest round, round stock that I've got to check it with. And it's running about, uh, let's see here, about 18,000 out now. Whereas before I think it was only about 5,000. So I made it worse instead of better. I think I know my, what might have happened um, by having the ring on the outer edge of the jaw to put tension on it may have cocked these things down instead of bringing them in even. Because if I hold the light behind the jaws, the gap, particularly on the right hand side and in the middle, and it gets a little tighter as it goes to the back. So evidently that uh, one jaw may have got pulled down tighter or something and ground more off. So when this uh, center drill is chucked in there, it's only holding at the back. So I really don't know what to do about this. Um, but that's it for now.